hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is moyo and today i'm going to be showing you how i cut and sewed this dress so the way i made my own is that both the front and the back they are neat so when you turn it to the other side you are still going to see that it is neat and i'm going to walk you through exactly how i did that so don't forget to watch to the end like and subscribe to my channel bye guys so before we get into our pattern drafting, let me show you how to fold your fabric. So the first thing you want to do is to fold your salvage hem together like you can see me do. And you are going to fold a long piece. So to know how long your Ankara fabric that are going to be folding will be, just take your full length. Let's say my full length is 57 and add like 2 inches for allowance. Then you are going to do double of that as you can see me do. So that's what you are going to do. That's how you are going to get this fold. And note that I did not cut it anywhere just fold double of what you actually need so say your full length is 57 like i said you are going to fold you are going to measure double so the first one that is under is 57 plus my twin that's 59 then the one on top of it is also 59 as well so this is when you can now start taking your measurements okay this is very simple but you have to get this fundamental right i will start by drafting my pattern on a paper but you don't have to you can just go on directly and draft on your fabric so i drew a straight line and this is my starting point to get my sleeve length i measured from the center back of my clients to where i want the sleeve to end and that's 20.5 so i'm at 20.5 on different points on my paper like you can see then for how wide my sleeve is i used 11 inches To get the booboo wideness, the largest measurement is 44 inches. So I divided that by 4 and I got 11 inches. So I marked that. Then I'm going to add extra 4 inches and that makes it 15 inches. So I'll take that all the way to the length of my dress and I will connect the points. I will come to the armhole and draw a curve. Then at my neckline, I'll mark the wideness of my neck and I use 3.5. If I size 10 down, 3 inches is okay. From the center of my paper, I came down by half inch and from the 3.5 inch mark, I came down by half inch as well and I made a curve. Then I'll cut out the shape of my booboo. So I decided to add a little allowance to fold my sleeve. I already folded my fabric into two as you can see and now i'm just going to place my paper on top of my anchor to cut the front i'll mark 3.5 on my neckline from the 0.5 that we already have and i'll mark it all the way down i will connect the points and cut out my paper then i'm going to place it back on my fabric remember that on my fabric i have the front and back together so i'm going to separate one piece and cut it out guys don't cut out the front and back together cut only one now if i open up my booboo it looks something like this now you want to align your booboo properly and then i sew the sides with french seam so what french seam means is that you are going to put your wrong side to wrong side and then you are going to sew your allowance to the right side so the excess you are going to cut it off when you now cut it off you now push that allowance inside and make sure that your right side of your fabric is to the right side of the other one and then you now sew it to the wrong side so when you sew it your seam is neat if you don't understand what i've just explained just check the description box i'm going to link a video of one friend seam that i've done in the past so you guys can understand so now i already cut out my pockets and my pocket is 10 inches long and 9.5 inches wide and i also have these um bands that i'm going to sew on top of my pocket now the way i did this band is that i folded it a little bit okay like you can see i already folded the band because i want it to be neat by the time i'm sewing also the entire length of my band is about 3.5 inches and then the wideness will be just as wide as my pocket is so now i'm going to sew the band from the wrong side like i'm going to join it on the wrong side and i'm going to flip it to the right side okay so that's how i'm going to do it and also don't forget to trim out the excess 
now that i'm done joining i'm just going to flip it over to the right side and then i'm going to sew so now if when you are sewing don't sew with a black thread because you want neatness just sew at the edge of your fold okay and then use a thread that matches what you are doing now if i use black thread it's not make sense so also for the sides i folded round okay you're just going to fold about half inch around your pocket and then you're going to iron also i like to secure that fold with hemming gum because hemming gum is just going to ensure that all the edges are well and neat now the next thing to do is to measure from your shoulder to where the beginning point of your pocket is going to be so this pocket is going to be below our waistline and i use 20 inches and also you want to measure from this side where the pocket is going to start from the center line rather so you want to make sure that both pockets that they are equal you don't want one to be jumping up and the other one is down you want them to be on the same side okay so now i'm just spinning my pocket all around just to secure it so that when i go ahead to sew my pocket is going to be exactly where i want it to be so once i was on pinning that side i did the same process for the other side as well and then i went to the sewing machine to sew my pockets obviously you're not going to sew the top of your pocket where your hand is going to enter and also as you can see my pocket has two colors so where i have red i used a red thread and where i have black i used a black thread that one is just for aesthetics but to make it look like yes you know what you are doing when you are done with this project guys to finish up my neckline area i went ahead to cut a band that is about eight inches wide so remember that my neckline was 3.5 inches when we were cutting it so i cut this band that was eight inches and i folded it into two so now when i folded it into two, when i folded it into two it is now four inches right and then the length is the length of my round neck if you have watched my kimono video you see how i used to measure my round neck so you are going to measure from one side round the neckline and then to the other side so that's how long this one is as you can see if I place it on my neckline it looks something like this okay and also I iron my interfacing so like I said I folded it into two so the next thing you want to do is to measure how deep you want your neckline to be so you can just place your finger on that point and then from the center of your neckline you just use the tip to trace to that point and then mine is about 13 inches to 14 inches so you're going to grab your band and on the center line you're just going to make it notch on that point that you want the this thing to be that you want the opening to be you're going to notch that point and then you're now going to open up the band and then from that point you're going to sew all the way down to where you want the slit to stop so again what i did it was to fold the center of my band that i already did and then where i'm going to be sewing now is that center that i already ironed before i told you that i folded it into, into two before right so now when i'm sewing i will sew from that notch that i made earlier and i'm going to sew down but it is in the center that i'm going to sew not on this side i'm going to be sewing on that guideline that you guys can see so now when you are done sewing you can see my slit area it is open and also my neckline is open now so in case you didn't get the length correctly or something because of the way i'm going to be sewing you can still adjust it when you are done so now i'm going to just grab one of the pieces okay that's the part i want to be on the right side and then i'm going to sew on the neckline so that's from the center of the neck all the way around so what i did here was to sew the right side of my booboo to the right side of the fabric okay and then there's still one piece left so now if i turn it to the wrong side you're going to see that there's still a part that is left that i've not done anything to it so now for that part there's a way i normally fold my bands if you guys have watched my trouser video you you understand this i'm going to link it below anyway so i'm going to just grab my hemming gum and i'm going to fold a little portion that's round the neckline so i'm going to sew hemming gum on top of the band and when i'm done i'm going to first iron before i now secure it with my sewing machine so the essence of this is just to ensure neatness another thing that i did not do when i was sewing was that i did not sew 
completely to the end of my boo boo and there's a reason why because i'm also going to do something there to ensure neatness so right now i've already folded the bottom part of my boo boo okay so now it's just the red part that is extending that remains and i'm going to go ahead and cut the red piece below the folding of my boo boo that's below the hemline of my boo boo okay and i notch the points where i'm going to be sewing that's where the band is supposed to meet the hemline of the boo boo and i'm going to so please if you don't understand just keep watching you are going to understand soon how i did it so i just sew this part first and when i am done i also sew the other part of the boo boo as well remember that we have two sides right so for the sake of clarity this is the hemline of my boo boo and this is the red band that i have so now you can see that i've already folded the hemline of my boo boo right and for this band that is extending i'm just going to fold the band a little bit and i'm going to notch so it is on that notch now that i'm not going to fold back okay and i'm going to sew on that notch i'm just explaining what i've done just for you if you don't understand so once i'm done sewing that part I'm now going to turn it to the right side. So when I sewed initially, remember that I told you that I did not join my red material to the hemline of my booboo. That's how long it is. So now I'm just going to join the remaining parts of the red material to my booboo. That's the side, the sides below, right? So when I'm done with that, I'm going to repeat that for the other side as well. And now it's time to complete the neckline of the part that is just out that we didn't do anything about before so now for the other side of my booboo that i told you that we're going to finish up with hemming gum i'm just going to fold it about half inch like you can see and i'm going to place my hemming gum on it and then i'm going to sew round so also what i normally like to do is to fold my hemming gum into two because it makes my hemming gum to have stronger hold you know there's a difference between where you're using just one layer of hemming gum and we are using two layers of hemming gum the hold is stronger so i just go ahead and sew all the way around and then when i'm done i'm going to tuck the parts that we already sewed initially that's on the neckline right i'm going to tuck it in and we're going to iron So guys, now that I'm done, I can now easily tuck in the part that was just outside before. I can tuck it inside the band that we just sewed hemming gum on it. And then I'm going to iron around. So take your time to do this step. And it's going to be neat, very, very neat. So once I was done ironing, this is what my neckline was looking like. As you can see, it is neat both inside and outside. Okay. So lastly, I'm just going to start from the hemline of my dress of my bubble dress and i'm going to secure it with my thread because if you leave your hemming gum like that it's going to pull out hemming gum is not that strong so you want to give it that extra layer of security and sew it from this hemline to the other hem guys this is the finished look of my bubble as you can see it is neat both outside and inside let me know if you'll be trying this out and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel bye guys